Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be uh, telling you all of the things I've done uh, I, that I have not recorded, sorry, but this is the pyramid. Last episode I built it in, uh, I built this pyramid, just a shell, but now the entire interior is awesome. So on the top I've got the uh, glass, because I think it looks cooler, and then I don't know why I put smoke coming out of these uh, towers right here. So this pyramid is so cool. So I have a bunch of farms in here. Like I have the super smelter, this bone meal thing right here. I've got the sugarcane farm. So basically, when the sugarcane goes up to the observer, observer sends a signal out to the pistons, and then see, I get sugarcane right here. Now I moved the iron farm into the uh, into the base. Same design. I moved all the villagers here. And this is a melon farm, so I really don't know how this works at all, but I think it's it's cool because I could trade it for the, with the villagers. So it produces a ton of melons, and iron farms working great. And then in the top up here, in the second floor, I have storage right here. So that's pretty cool. So this is that's what's it called? This is for mob drops, and then this is for iron and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now, I, now I've got my enchanting room over here. So other things I've done off camera is m made a music disc farm, and I've been getting a ton of music discs, such as. So over here, I have my music disc farm. So uh, there's a creeper goes right here, and he gets trapped. So then once the creeper goes there, I go into this room right here. And the skeleton shoots the creeper. He tries to shoot me, but ends up shooting the creeper. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool design. Hardest part was to get the skeleton in there, because skeletons, they, they shoot you from far away, so it's pretty difficult to get them. And then I built a tunnel in the nether to the end, because I built a enderman farm. So, as you can see, if I go to the nether, I mean, I built a... Uh, tunnel to the end in the nether so as you can see this goes down to the mine for netherite and then over here this is the tunnel uh, to the end so it's not that long because it doesn't have to be because of the eight to one blocks so that built a portal in the stronghold and then I just made a tunnel to it so originally this was made out of cobblestone I decided I don't like getting hit by blazes from the nether fortress below. So then I made it out of uh, this design. Looks pretty cool with the crimson wood and the red glass. So then this area is blue because of the crim... The, no, the warped forest, I'm sorry. So this uh, it looks pretty cool. From the outside it looks way cooler though. And then we drop down here on the hay bale. And then this portal will take you to the stronghold. Now over here in the stronghold, it's super cool, right here. So, yeah, and uh, I, I made it so like you can't go to the other parts of the stronghold because it's just confusing. So then I, I filled the around of the end portal with crimson woods because it looks really cool. And then we go to the end, and over here, I built this uh, uh what's it called? This platform to go to the Enderman farm out of. Uh, leaves because endermen can't spawn on leaves so I won't be accidentally looking at any endermen while walking over here and die so I have to build it really far out because uh or else it's, if there's so many endermen over there no endermen will be able to spawn in the enderman farm so how the enderman farm works there's like a 30 by 30 uh I don't know that's not 30 by 30 but there's a platform up there and endermen uh, spawn up there because it's the end. They spawn everywhere. They see the endermite uh, in a minecart up there and they fall down. So the endermite was probably the hardest part of the farm because because you have to, it's like 10 per, like 5% chance of spawning with the ender pearl I think. So yeah. That was the hardest part of the farm but it does pay off because I could uh, fix my all the items that I need. So like, as you can see, if I just fix this, fixes it really quickly. So as you can see, look at the, uh, if you see the, what's it called? If I go over here, you can see the durability going up super fast. So it's pretty overpowered. I think it's awesome. 
So yeah, that is all the stuff I've been doing in off camera. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and uh, yeah, hope you like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So yep, hopefully you enjoy the video. Bye.